Another thing I'd like to point out here on these oil jets I talked about before, you need to think about do these need to be removed? My answer would say it'd just be safest to go ahead and remove these. You can see they're small little Torx fasteners and underneath here, oil flow goes through here, needs to go through, there's a check valve in here, one-way check valve, spring and ball, and oil's gonna shoot at the back of that piston. Well, if you had an engine that failed due to mechanical damage and little metal filings or even just fine particles, really, really fine particles of the chain, cam chain tensioners or whatnot were through that engine, you gotta think, it isn't gonna take much to plug that tiny little hole. Can we get the camera down and show how small that actually is? Look at that, look, that's good. Okay, it's pretty dang small. Underneath here is gonna be an O-ring to seal that. We wouldn't want the oil pressurizing and running out you know, down below. We want it to actually run through its normal path and up where it's supposed to go. What we wanna do is you wanna grab the uh, air hose and I'll grab my air gun. All right, guys, take a look at this here. What I want is some oil to shoot out of here, and I said there's a spring here. If I use full blast of shop air, I'm going to potentially damage this. So back up a little bit and show the tool. Before you ever use a blowgun, you should always be, you know, getting a feel for what that's like. I can control this thing, and I've barely got any air pressure coming out of that. I'm familiar with the tool, so keep that in mind. Let's go back into here. That's good. So this little hole right here, I'm just going to put real light pressure on here. See it? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I could see that I was able to get the oil pressure through that. So I'm going to duplicate this on the other side, make sure they're both good. All right, guys, we're getting ready to install the, uh, the piston jet. And we want to make sure and do a couple things. These holes have to be just spotless dry can't have any contamination in there or the Loctite won't do its job. They're only torqued about 25 to 35 uh, foot. The other thing here is this O-ring could just fall off on us, so we put a little grease on there to temporarily hold it in place. So take uh, a couple of your bolts here. See why that's so important to put that grease on that o-ring. A couple tips too. We're making sure that we're getting this done tonight because tomorrow we want to put our cases together and just in case you wanted to make something run you'd want to make sure you had time for the Loctite to go ahead and dry. This is that uh, torque wrench that we're using. You can see it looks just like a screwdriver if you will. The direction of installation here and you can see here there's a scale that I can adjust. Why don't we go ahead and zoom in on that? Okay, so inch pounds, 20 to 80, 85 it looks like, okay? And how we adjust that is by, back up, Allen wrench here, is we take and put this in the tool and then we can adjust it to whatever torque spec we want. So I'm set up where I want to be right now. I'm going to go ahead and hear that click mm -hmm. and it feels like it slips and what's happening is it's just ratcheting over itself okay so that means it's at the correct torque and that's how you install those I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate the process over here So like I said, our final recommendation here, we're gonna clean these really good, get all these silicones off here. This oil filter is obviously gonna get replaced. It's just been on here while we've been doing some different demos. You probably have yours off on your motor. And then uh, we'll, in the next video, we'll start to do assembly.